Hello everyone, this is the video is all about the effects of solvent for the SN2 reaction. In the SN2 reaction, before we start with the effects of solvent, we first start with the solvent types. Solvent is of two types that is polar solvent and non-polar solvent. Polar po solvent has the higher dipole moment and non-polar has the lower dipole moment. Higher dipole in the sense the atoms are connected with each other has the greater electronegativity difference for the polar case and for the non-polar non case they have the the atoms which are attaching with each other has the lower electronegativity difference so there is lower dipole moment so if you see the polar it has also two types polar protic polar protic solvent and polar aprotic solvent earlier also in the uh, video in the first video um, in the video of SN1 reaction um, gen in the general organic chemistry video I have discussed the polar protic polar aprotic and the non-polar solvent and also with the examples so if you if you don't know about this solvent let me tell it again polar protic this solvent anions and polar aprotic solvent solvate cations and non-polar do not don't solvate and then and cations okay so polar aprotic is going to solvate the anions and in the polar aprotic it is going to solvate the cations cation part and non-polar solvent is not going to solvate the anions as well as cations so if we take an example let's say let's say we have hf cl hi hbr and hi so what will be the effects of these groups in the polar protic in the polar aprotic and in the non-polar solvent let let's see let if we we given we give polar protic so what will be happening here polar protic will solvate the anion part so here anion part is f minus cl minus br minus and i minus so this will solvate this anions so they will be this will be solvated this is the sign of solvation so what will be happening here the the group with the higher charge density will be sol solvated more so if f minus has the higher charge density so it will solvate mm, larger in compared to cl so cl has the higher charge density than br so cl will will be solvated more than br as like as br also will be getting more solvated than i minus so if we see the basicity means nucleophilicity here so nucleophilicity will be in the order of this way i minus would have the greater nucleophilicity because the after solvation the size of i minus will be lesser in compared to f minus because is f minus has larger charge density it will be solvated more in compared to more um, com compared to i minus so size of f minus will be larger after solvation so mobility of f minus will be lesser here than i minus so nucleophilicity will be in this order let's say in the polar protic polar aprotic polar aprotic in the polar aprotic what polar aprotic do 
it solve at cations so it will solve at the h plus okay so f minus cl minus br minus and i minus will be remain left in the solution so they will not be getting solvate solvated so if we see the nucleophilicity that will be in this order why because it has f minus has higher charge density then cl minus cl minus has higher charge density then br minus br minus has higher charge density then i minus so they will they can provide to others so nucleophilicity will be in this order in the polar haplotic let's see in the non-polar non-polar so in the non-polar hf will be remains hf scl will be remain scl hbr will be when hbr and hi will be remains hi because they are not going to um, solve it cation part also as well as anion part so here we can we have to see the bond length bond length the group with higher bond length will be easier to break so hi has the higher bond length bond length will be in this order hi has a higher bond length because i has the higher radius then br br has a higher radius than cl cl has higher radius than f so bond length will be in this order so it is easier to break the bond of hi than br then br then cl then cl then h hf okay so nucleophilicity will be in this order because it can be break easily so i minus will be easily available here so nucleophilicity in b will be in this order okay so let let's see what will be the effects of this solvent in the sn2 reaction in the sn2 reaction we need strong base strong base here nucleophile will be act as base okay so we need strong base and we know that most of the strong bases are the negative charge negative charge element so most of the strong bases are anions so if we are taking the polar protic solvent what polar protic will do they would solvent the anions so if we use polar protic then anions will be getting um, lesser effective because of solvation so we should avoid the polar protic solvent in case of SN2 reaction so let me write here polar protic should be avoided because it will solvate the anion so it will um, decrease the effectiveness of the base so what we will use polar aprotic so we will be using polar aprotic solvent polar aprotic solvent are favorable ok let us now take some examples of the SN2 let's say let's say we are given CH3 CH2 L plus RO minus CH3 CH2 L plus OH minus and if the rate of reaction for this is R1 if this is R2 this is one set of problem let me take another set of problem that is CH3 CH2 L plus I minus CH3 CH2L plus Br minus 
and we have dm so and we have dmso dm okay. this is second type of problem let me take a third set of problem that is ch3 ch2l plus br minus ch3 ch2l plus br minus and we have different solvent dm so let's say this is r2 r1 this is r1 and r2 let let the comp let's compare the rate of reaction for these reactions here we have ro minus oh minus so for the reaction rate to decide we have to decide the basicity of these two so for the basicity we can make the conjugate acid of this let's say this is a part of roh and this is a part of h2o so we all know that water has the higher acidity than roh any alcohol except methyl so r is not equals to ch3 except methanol water has the higher, higher acidity so water water has the higher acidity this is acidity this has higher acidity than this so higher acid acid has the um, strong acid has the weak conjugate base so oh minus is the weak weaker than ro minus so ro minus basicity so the reaction rate uh, would be higher for the um, strongest base so ro minus is strongest base so reaction rate of one will be greater than reaction rate of two let me say it again acidity of h2o is greater than ro every alcohol except methanol so the basicity of strongest conjugate base of strongest acid will be the lowest uh, weaker base so h minus is weaker than ro minus so this has higher basicity so reaction rate will be greater for r1 let's see in second we have i minus and br minus and we are given dmso so dmso is polar aprotic polar aprotic so what polar aprotic will do it will um, um, polar aprotic will will not solvate the cation uh, anions so these are not going to solvate solvate the anion so polar aprotic solvate the cations only so there is the no contribution to this reaction because there is no um, cation here so i minus and br minus we have to choose uh, um, with the with the um, charge density so br minus and i minus br minus has the lower size than i minus so br minus would have greater charge density than i minus so this has higher charge density so this would have the greater basicity so r2 will have greater reaction rate than r1 in the third case if you see that mm, the anions the base base is same here but the solvent are different here h2h polar protic protic and dmso is polar aprotic so what will be happening here polar protic will solvate the br minus here in case second case dmso cannot solvate the anions and so br minus so it will solvate the br minus and decrease the effectiveness of br minus so the reaction rate of one will be lesser than so this will be in this order so in this three we can see that here we are deciding with respect to um, basicity here also basicity 
and we are deciding the basicity with charge density here and here we are looking at the effectiveness mobility so polar protic would have the lesser mobility because it will solvate the br minus so increase the structure increase the size of br minus so uh, resulting the effectiveness of br minus in the first case so r1 will be lesser than r2 so this is the end of this lesson 2 thanks thank you to all